Yat Haderov of Azerbaijan. The Azerbaijani in blue, the Russian in white. This is for gold and silver. This is a very interesting lineup because both had some very tough fights. Prokopchuk had four fights before and Hidai Rov had five fights. And both of them have some very quality opponents. Look at that lift. Wow. Reverse shoulder throw from Hidai Rov. Uh, Hidai Rov, very, man, very much the man of the moment. European champion in 2017. He took silver last year and bronze at the World Championships. And Prokopchuk will be very aware of that record and very wary of his opponent. Well, Coming into the finals, Prokopchuk beat the uh, former World Junior Champion in the early rounds from Korea by Ipon and he has finished all his fights by Ipon so far. Three out of four fights with uh, arm lock, Jujigatami. So very dangerous on the ground he is. This, uh, and uh, Hyderov beats uh, Sender Chir, who we uh, saw in the first bronze medal match. And uh, okay, Sender Chir was uh, picked up three penalties and was eliminated that way was so disgruntled he held a sort of sit-in on the mat after the fight before his coach managed to calm him down and get him off watch this the Russians working on the unlock his favorite technique on the ground he has managed to finish everybody almost but now the referee calls Mate the Russian couldn't believe it and the coach stood up and said hey they're in progress on the ground Hederov gets a second chance Hederov had a third place finish at the European Games just two weeks ago in Minsk. He's a very strong fighter in his own right, a proven record, and now he's defending that strong arm lock from Kupchuk. See, Prokupchuk manages the turnover, and this is where he's dangerous. Really, he's working on that arm. Hiderov is desperately. Hiderov is, is, is holding on to the Russian's leg. Wow. He gets his arm straightened, but he manages to change the position and escape from that arm lock. You can see. Russians exerting tremendous pressure on the wrist and on the arm and the arm is so straightened and here the rope comes from over the back yeah he just managed to twist round just in time didn't he that was impressive escape with uh, quite a few of his fingers taped up this sport takes its toll on fingers He's oh. sacrifice technique from Hidarov didn't get didn't the rotation the Russian sort of twisted out of it didn't he yes he did yes, he dropped down oh. the Russian spun his head so we're just over a minute to go. It's all square in this gold medal match in the under 73 kilo category. But it's been an absorbing tie. Wow. And Hidero tried to do the Sankaku triangle turnover and almost ended up in a pin himself. see Prokopchuk is so expert on the ground that he's never really in danger himself when he's down there. 
different judokas having different strengths and clearly the Russians is the groundwork oh definitely Hidarova big thrower this is where he's going to look to finish the fight if he manages to get a throw in Twenty four seconds and heading towards the golden score. Oh, oh, score. Have we got time for one more action? One more complete action here. Feeling we're going to golden score very soon. Oh, big Osotogari from the Russian. Time runs out. That could have just done it, couldn't it? Yes. <laughs> Both are such high caliber players. So, our first golden score period of the day. So if you're seeing this for the first time, basically whoever scores first, whatever that score is, wins. Oh! And it's the Wazari for the Russian and gold for Prokopchuk of Russia. The 25-year-old adds to Russia's tally that's three medals to Russia today but their first gold of the day well Prokopchuk has proven to be unstoppable all day and he definitely finished the final in style and Hidarov is in disbelief great fight by both fighters really Prokopchuk adds another medal out of all the three competitions he entered this year, the major ones, he has won a medal in every one of them. Hugely experienced. And this will be his last Universiad as well, because he's 25 years old, so he won't be able to qualify for the next one. I see. So he goes away with a gold medal in his last Universiad. What a way to conclude it. Lift from Peter Rowe in the highlight. So the Russian came across the hip throw. Peter Rowe does very well defended. I'd say they were the most evenly matched pair of, of the uh, tournament so far, really. Well, definitely today's finals, you can see there very closely matched, probably the most closely matched as you see. have been really fighting hard trying to win with big techniques so it's very nice to see you can see the last action the Russian countered Hida Rolf with the Tani Otoshi good stuff goal then for Prokopchuk as he celebrates to the camera 